Hi everyone, and welcome to this video about how to connect to your Fasthost database using MySQL Workbench version 6. So the first thing I'm going to show you is where you can actually get Workbench from, just in case you're not sure. So you can go to dev.mysql.com and if you scroll down to the bottom, you've got the download section and you can just click MySQL Workbench there. And from here, I, I'd probably recommend just getting the uh, the the Windows X8664 but MSI installer just for Workbench rather than getting the MySQL installer unless you're planning on using a load of the other products in that one. So just click download there. And if you don't want to log in or sign up, you can just click no, just start my download there and that will download. Uh, and then you can just install it using that. I, I've already installed it uh, on my computer here just to speed up the video a little bit so I'm now going to move on how to actually make a connection so if we open up workbench so here we can see uh, the opening screen for MySQL Workbench and you can see here uh, that I've already got the local instance MySQL connection and that's usually there by default. If you want to add a new one, which we do, we're going to click this little add connection there and then we can enter some of the details here. So the connection name could be anything you want, it's just going to be, uh, be what's listed here. So I'm going to be uh, connecting to my database on fictitiousconsultant.co.uk here. Just uh, sorry to call it that. Connection ma method, I just can leave that as standard. And then the parameters. So these bits of information will need to go into our Fastface control panel now. So we're going to need a host name, uh, a username, a password. So if we just uh, minimize that for now go into here we go so if we go into our fastos dashboard now uh, which is why i'm here we need to get those database details so if you hover over hosting and go to databases this is going to list all the databases in your account and you can also access them from the package overviews as well so here we've got the database i want to connect to this fictitious wordpress and that's on one of my hosting package for boost.fastestwebinars.com and i could access that if i wanted to um the database through that package as well so we just click on that here we can see the database details we need so let's copy that server ip address and that's going to be the host name port 3306 is fine username is going to be the username here, so fictitious user. And then the password, we click store in vault and then we can enter the password for that. So I, I don't copy and paste that because I know what it is. And then there we go. So now we can just test connection and there we can see we've successfully made the SQL connection. So, okay. Okay, and now if we want to make a connection to that database, just double click that, and then we're in. And that's all there is to it. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye for now.